Hi friends! Today we're going to be reading The Pout Pout Fish in the Big Big Jark. This is written by Deborah Deason and the pictures are by Dan Hanna. So he's the illustrator. You guys might be doing some illustrating today. Oh, and here's our title page. The Pout Pout Fish in the Big Big Jark by Deborah Deason and pictures by Dan Hanna. A doozy of a drowsy made Miss Clam yawn. Then a big current whooshed and her pearl was gone. Mr. Fish swam forth. Miss Clam, don't weep. I will find your pearl. That's a promise I'll keep. He swooped through the water, swishing close to the sand, and he eyed every inch of the busy bottom land. Look at the background here, all the fish that are swimming, and there's sand and water and plants. The pout pout fish is swimming through it. He found a mucky marble where he thought the pearl might be. Then a hidden voice whispered, it's further out to sea. This looks different. There are different animals, different rocks. Huh. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flip fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm scared of the dark. And Dan Hanna, the illustrator, included a sign that says, Caution, Fast Fish Zone. Oh, and they have a game here. Do you guys know what that game is? Have any of you played it? He kept on searching all along the ocean floor. Through a reef, through a wreck, swimming far from the shore. Now there's a boat in the background and it says, Tiny Titanic. Mr. Fish felt a pout pout poach upon his hope. Then the whisper from before said, Down beyond the slope. He swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flit fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm scared of the dark. This one looks very different. What is Mr. Fish swimming in front of now? A whirl of wriggly worms made the search team swirl, and they helped with the hunt for the yawn gone pearl. But nothing was discovered. Mr. Fish felt despair. Then that soft voice whispered, In the trench, check there. So he swam a little deeper, where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flit fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I am fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm scared of the dark. Oh, this background's really interesting. They have more signs here. This one says, suckers here, says rest stop, come on in, free food. And this one says fun and games in here. Do you think those are really places for fun and games? What do you think these fish are really doing? I won't keep swimming in this heat deep black. I know I made a promise, but this fish is heading back. Then a whisper now familiar whisked away his dread. You can do it, Mr. Fish. 
her sweet voice said. Though there wasn't any light, not the smallest slim glimmer, Mr. Fish felt braver. Cheered on by Miss Shimmer. Two are faster than a sailfish. Two are stronger than a shark. Two are smarter than a dolphin. Two are bigger than the dark. So they swam down together, holding fin to fin, when suddenly, amazingly, put this back. <laughs> light shone in. Mr. Fish said, yes. Miss Shimmer shouted, yay. There's Miss Clam's pearl. Hooray, hooray. They smooch, Mr. Lantern. Then they smiled as they swam, weaving back through the water to a happy Miss Clam. The whole gang gathered, feeling glorious and proud, and they swam in a circle as they sang out loud. The ocean is wide. And the ocean is deep, but friends help friends. That's a promise that we keep. We are bigger, yes, bigger, always big, big, bigger than the dark. The end. You know, I have a Mr. Fish right here. But if I have the fish swim around here, it doesn't look like it's in its habitat, does it? Because fish swim in, yeah. And do I have any of that here? No, but look in the book. In the book, the artist chose all different kinds of backgrounds with different kinds of animals and plants and things like boats. And he has little hidden things all over. Sometimes it's a lot of the same thing. Sometimes he includes signs to tell us things. Some pictures are really, really dark. But then, some pictures have light. Some backgrounds, like this one, are very, very simple. We could have our pout pout fish here. But wait, would it make sense for the pout pout fish to be on the land? Maybe there's some other backgrounds I can look at. Some backgrounds are really complicated. They have so many pieces and so many things happening that they tell their own kind of stories. But wait, is the pout pout fish gonna fit here? Hmm, not yet. Let's see, sometimes artists use different kinds of paper and glue them together to make a collage. Does the pout pout fish fit in the tree? Hmm. We'll keep looking. I know we're gonna find it. Let's see. Oh, this one has water. And this one has water in the bathtub. Do you think the pout pout fish could swim here? It'd be a little crowded, wouldn't it? But look how both of these pages tell stories. What story is this one telling? What is the boy doing? and the dog doing, <laughs> and how does mom feel about it? And it even have, has words that says, uh-oh. Let's see, hmm, oh my. Backgrounds can also be made out of materials you find, like our beautiful stuff. Hmm, that banana up there, they used it in such a way. Do you think it's daytime or nighttime? Oh, and that owl, 
Where is that owl, do you think? And the owl also has something to write with. Hmm. So sometimes you include things for your character to use. But the pout pout fish doesn't fit in the nighttime tree, does he? Hmm. Let's see. I have another book here. I'm hoping this will be the one. Wait a minute. We've read this book before. This is Iggy Peck Architect. This one tells a big story. What happened to the bridge? And how does the teacher feel? Hmm. My question is, do you think the fish fits here? There's a bunch of water. That makes sense for a fish. But you wouldn't have to use this. You can make your own. We found a good background that worked for the pout pout fish. Now it's your turn to draw a background for your cookie dough on your adventure. Think about where is your cookie dough going? Hmm, are there other piggies there? Or people or animals? Hmm, then you'd include them. Hmm, are there buildings? Or is there nature? You have to think about all those things. Is it light? Is it dark? And you can use any materials you want. We'll share all of these on Friday. You can put your cookie dough in front of your background and you're gonna tell your friends about it. We're gonna wait till Friday to share these, but you could inspire a friend by posting in the comments section below the materials that you're using.